I deeply value your friendship. To me, to the state of Israel, it was so clearly evident in the words you just spoke. Israel has no better ally than the United States. And I want to assure you, the United States has no better ally than Israel. Our alliance has been remarkably strong. But under your leadership, I'm confident it will get even stronger. I look forward to uh, working with you to dramatically upgrade our alliance in every field, in security, in technology, in cyber and trade, and so many others. And I certainly welcome your forthright call to ensure that Israel is treated fairly in international forums and that the slander and boycotts of Israel are resisted mightily by the power and moral position of the United States of America. As you have said, our alliance is based on a, on a deep bond of common values and common interests. And increasingly, those values and interests are under attack by one malevolent force, radical Islamic terror. Mr. President, you've, uh, you've shown great clarity and courage in confronting this challenge head on. You call for confronting Iran's terrorist regime, preventing Iran from realizing this uh, terrible deal into a nuclear arsenal. And you have said that the United States is committed to preventing Iran from getting nuclear weapons. You call for the defeat of ISIS. Under your leadership, I believe we can reverse the rising tide of radical Islam. And in this great task, as in so many others, Israel stands with you, and I stand with you. Mr. President, in rolling back militant Islam, we can seize an historic opportunity. Because for the first time in my lifetime, and for the first time in the life of my country, Arab countries in the region do not see Israel as an enemy, but increasingly as an ally. And I believe that under your leadership, this change in our region creates an unprecedented opportunity to strengthen security and advance peace. Let us seize this moment together. Let us bolster security. Let us seek new avenues of peace. And let us bring the remarkable alliance between Israel and the United States to even greater heights. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. I, Donald John Trump, do solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute that I will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States the 